Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today is the last one the fifth Polaroid snowscape and here are the previous four I did this week and also those two at the top that you can see those are the paintings available for my channel members as previously I will be using this watercolor paper by Gestarka 24 by 32 centimeters which I have divided into four parts to paint in the Polaroid snowscapes and this one I'm again starting off with my sketch I'm just gonna do a horizon line just a little bit beneath the central part of my painting and also those lines for the road or the walk uh, trail however you want to call it few of the trees and I'm just mining the perspective so those that are further away from us I am drawing smaller and those that are closer to us I'm drawing larger also it's the same way the line is on the for the road well diagonal also that is how you should be painting your trees also diagonal and I prevented the entire paper and then painting in the sky with this blue, light blue and also black mix of those two colors and just leaving one part for the sun peeking through those very, very dense clouds at the sky and also I'm adding a little bit of the black at the lower part but you can see it's a very very diluted it looks like a grayish color to paint in that trail and also some surrounding snow I've added a couple of trees or bushes whatever in the distance at the horizon line just to make it a little bit more interesting and also just going around my sun because I do want it to be visible you can paint in the sky a little bit darker so your sun will be more visible I just wanted to make it quite subtle so it's even less visible than it's actually on my painting when you look at it in real life it looks a little bit more well I guess different the it, that sun is a little bit more visible now painting in some of the trees and the paper is still wet so I'm just adding a very very light line that is going to bleed into the wet paper but later on now that it's dry I will add more details and I do want it to wanted it to have some fuzzy edges so that's the reason why I did that why it was still wet I thought it could look a little bit more interesting when I add the details when I paint in the trees on completely dry those trees that are a little bit further away I've added more of the blue and a little bit of the black to make them well I guess a little bit bluish further in the distance those objects further in the distance look a little bit more blue and the trees I'm gonna paint in closer to us I will be painting using black and brown color and just a touch of that blue and as we go closer to us the trees are going to be a little bit darker and they will have a little bit more of the black in the mix and of course as I said previously those trees that are near to us are going to be taller so as we do have these diagonal lines on the trail so the diagonally goes the trees and the one nearest to us is going to be the highest the tallest I also added a little bit more of the paint to the trail and decided to do a few trees speaking from the edges of my painting just to make it look like the trees are not stopping there but they're also behind us so that's the reason why I've added just a couple of branches speaking from the sides a little bit of the splatters with that mix of blue and gray color and also I will be adding some splatters in white gouache and with that I'll be finishing off this painting in this video actually I did add a little bit more of the details to the trail I did want it to make those lines and those maybe parts where the steps are a little bit uh, more visible and darker so I've added a little bit more paint there and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video this I guess Polaroid snowscapes uh, ser series 
and I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it, maybe you gave a try to a few of them, you can definitely use these ideas also for cards, why not? And guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would really be awesome. And again, thank you so much for watching. Well, I guess I see you tomorrow. Bye.